Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to do in particular, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll appreciate and actually do it. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. On there, we post um, weekly vlogs. You guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. We've got um, a Patreon and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing everything that you guys are doing. Doesn't go unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. And just really thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to what one of you suggested. By the way, big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to They Say, they say Who Created Allah. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I came from my father, my father came from my grandfather, my grandfather came from my great-grandfather and so on and so on and so on. It goes back, back, back until it all goes back to Adam alayhi salam. So then, okay, then Allah created Adam alayhi salam. So if you say, okay, what was before that? You say, well, the jinns were there. What was before that? Allah created the, uh, the malaika before that. Then you say, okay, what was before the malaika? Then you say, okay, it's, it's Allah Azza wa Jal. It's Allah Azza wa Jal. There will be a question that the shaitan will put forth. He will say, Hada khalqullah faman khalaqallah. This is the creation of Allah. So who has created Allah? Naudhuillah. So if you think backwards in time, you think, well, what was there before Allah? But before only comes because you're thinking about time. So before before Allah Azza wa Jal, they, there is no before that question doesn't even exist. There is no such thing before Allah. Allah was there, finished. And that's what we need to say. We can't we can't use the human brain to, to understand this. Just like if I tell you to lift 10 kilos, if I tell you to lift 10 kilos right now, you can lift 10 kilos. If I tell even a super strong person you lift with one arm, 1000 kg, can you do it? No. If I tell him to do 10,000 kg, can you do it? No. So there's a limit to this, the limit to the muscles. If I say with the eye, how far can I see? Some people can see one mile of a distance, some people three, four miles of a distance on a clear day. Some people five miles. But if I tell him to see with this eye, a human eye, without any binoculars, without any telescope, without anything, to look and to see uh, as far as 100 miles, or 200 miles. Can the human eye do that? No, so the human eye is limited. The human muscles are limited. The ears, even if there's a massive explosion on halfway across the world or quarter way across the world, I can't hear that. The human, the human ear can't pick that up. So we're limited. We're limited with hearing, with sight, with touching, with lifting, with walking, with energies. So we're limited with the brain. We're limited with the brain. There's so much a human can think, it's limited. So, would me and you be able to know about the unseen world, about Allah without any Prophet, yes or no? Yes or no, we can't. It's only through the Prophets. So whatever the Prophets now tell us about Allah, we have to trust it. The human can't bring now new arguments about Allah from himself. It won't work. Because you, we, the whole concept of Allah is not a man-made thing. Allah has sent prophets to the earth to talk about God. So if a question is now said about Allah Azza wa Jal, about who he is, what he was and so on, no human being can ever come and talk about God without a dalil and without a prophet evidence. You have to go through a prophet. 
So when philosophers, when scientists, when your normal ordinary human beings, they talk about God and that God must be this, God must be that, we do not accept the authority of anybody. We accept only the authority of the Anbiya, of the Prophets, because they were told about God, from God, they were told who God is. So you have to go through them to find out who God is. Anyone else you will take, even if your own brain, you try and understand Allah, then you will fail. We're so good with coming up with things such as new inventions, just innovative ideas like we're thinking out of the box to create all sorts of things. But then one thing we have in common is we all can't explain God's existence. That's just, I don't think anyone has explained it to the extent where no one will argue with them or argue with whatever their findings are which speaks for itself. I mean, that's a statement on its own. Let me know what you guys think. What do you have to say? How would you define God? Or has anyone actually pinpointed what God is? Uh, this was a great video, something interesting. You're always giving something interesting to react to. Uh, let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.